All right, so for those of you who've been following my channel, you know how virulently, virulent, uh, anti-commie I am. Uh, I hate communism in every single aspect of its being. Um, it's, a, it's an evil, evil ideology. It's a, It needs to be sent to the dustbin of history, just like Nazism. I don't know why commies keep rising up and we got them here in America. It's not, I mean, I know why, because people uh, desire power uh, and they... <laughs> They think they can get a utopia on Earth if only the right people had the power. And I'm not sure how many times we see the uh, the millions of dead bodies to recognize they'll never be the right person. But anyway, so anytime I can read an anti-commie book, um, I'm excited by it. And this one is uh, The Joke by Milan Kundera, uh, or Milan, Milan, Milan Kundera. So basically the premise of this book is, um, and he's written other stuff too, which I'm interested in, and other stuff that's not uh, fiction. Is um, So I'm looking forward to reading some of his other stuff. But and I don't know his backstory. Like I haven't got, I, I never heard of him until I came across the book. But here we got, uh, here's Sam, Salman Rushdie, John Updike, and Irving Howe on the back cover all singing the praises of this book. Um, I, I just weird to me because I didn't get much out of it. I'm not going to lie to you. The premise is we have this guy who's a part of the Czechoslovakian commie party. He's in, he's in college. He's trying to date this girl and, uh, and, and the girl's kind of just, you know, not seeing his, uh, doesn't see him the way he sees her, if that makes sense. And, um, long story short, he writes her all these postcards. I can't remember why they're separated, but they're separated for some reason. He writes all these postcards and one, uh, he happens to say, all hail Trotsky. And is he was saying it in jest, as being like a j the joke. Well, by then, Trotsky had already been, you know, subhuman. He'd already been, you know, uh, uh, stabbed by an ice pick in Mexico City, already been purged from, you know, any kind of, uh, he was not part of the revolution anymore. I mean, Stalin purged him and ultimately killed him. So the commies couldn't look kindly on Trotsky. Uh, as Trotsky was a... Uh, uh, was an anti-communist. Uh, That's what they said. You know, he was a uh, enemy of the state. So anyone who's saying all hail Trotsky inherently has to be an enemy of the state. So he's called before a committee at the university of uh, communist uh, communist people. Essentially, the kids are running the school. Basically, it's nuts. The professors weren't even commie, but the kids were. It's no different than what we're seeing today in universities across America. The professors aren't running it. It's the kids, and the kids are commies. And uh, if you don't adhere to everything, and heaven forbid you tell a joke, uh, you're going to be sent to the gulag, essentially. It's nuts. Just look at Brett Weinstein. It's happened all over the place, man. It's nuts. Well, anyway, so we have, uh, so he's called before this tribunal, essentially, of 100 commies. And uh, and his friend is the head guy who was just named as the, uh, the essentially, the leader of the Student Communist new Union. So he's thinking, ah, my friend will give me a, Zemnik, I think is his friend name. Uh, he'll give me a break, and it uh, turns out Zemnik does not. They all, 100 out of 100, they all say, you gotta, you're gotta, you gonna uh, take away your commie card. You're no longer part of the commie, uh, communist, uh, you know, the, the party, uh, because you said all hail Trotsky. Uh, and on top of that, he got kicked out of the university. And on top of that, he then got drafted to join the, uh, it wasn't like sent to the gulag, but he was he had to join this black insignia, insignia a military unit, which is basically enemies of the state. And so they're the, what they were drafted to do is go work in the mines. It wasn't a gulag per se. They're actually getting paid to do it because they work harder than, uh, than other people. But at the end of the day, it was just called the black insignia uh, brigade, essentially that had to go in the mines. Somehow he's able to, uh, meet this lady named Lucy, uh, that he was, because uh, once in a while they'd, they'd have a weekend off, and somehow he came across this lady named Lucy, and uh, and they, he concocted a plan to sneak over the uh, out of the fence, out of the gates, essentially to break from the post that they're uh, you know put in, and uh, meet her at uh, some guy's house um, in the middle of the night. And so uh, he was able to do that. And uh, long story short, he uh, you know he wanted to you know engage in activities with the lady that she did not want to. And, uh, and he put all his hope and love and everything into Lucy. Just, he wanted to, you know what I'm saying? If you're, you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, and she said she rejected him and he was like, what, what, what the hell, babe? I mean, what's going on? And he kept trying and she rejected him. All right. So we fast forward. It turns out some other, we, uh, after his, his five year stint in the work in the mines, he, uh, it's hard to follow what happens next. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. Uh, but he comes across somebody who uh, who actually met Lucy. Apparently, Lucy, the reason why she rejected this guy, 
is because uh, she had been uh, part of a basically a group of people, five boys and her, uh, a gang of some sorts, and um, and she respected them. And then they took their turns raping her routinely. Uh, Lucy's parents were gone; she had no place to go. So these were basically her, you know, her savers. And uh, and then they they took advantage of her. So Lucy thus uh, ex ran away, and she was living in some uh, you know some woods outside of a, a small town, a farming village. And uh, anyway, it was crazy. So the guy who, another guy who uh, knew my man, the, 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 the main Ludwig is this, the, 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 the uh, protagonist, uh, another friend of Ludwig's uh, had volunteered to relinquish his uh, communist party, you know, uh, authority to go work in the farm. And apparently that's what the communist party likes. They like for you to volunteer to go work with your hands with a working man. And so he went to work with his farm. Long story short, he got to know Lucy and, um, uh, and uh, the, the whole thing is nuts. You're like sitting there. Okay. And then he said, so this guy said to, to Ludwig, Hey, I got to know Lucy and, uh, you know, here's the story behind it. And, uh, Ludwig's like, man, I, I didn't know any of that. I didn't know her. I just basically wanted to use her myself. Well, anyway, so we come back and towards the end of the book, uh, they're at some kind of fair, uh, an old folk festival in Monrovia. And, uh, and Ludwig, um, uh, his his arch enemy now Zemanik is married to a lady Helena I think is the name and so he sees Helena just kind of wandering around one night and he says oh man so basically he goes I'm gonna get back Zemanik by um, by uh, <laughs> by engaging with uh, Helena if that makes sense Helena Helena I think uh, you, you know where I'm going with this and so Helena somehow so comes to his uh, his approach because it turns out Helena doesn't like Zemanik anyway. Apparently Zemanik has long since left that relationship and has gone to uh, other ladies, but they're married in name only. And so then when uh, Ludwig, you know, basically uh, pr propositions Helena, uh, she's all ready for it. She's like, yeah, because she's like, I'm, I'm done with this relationship anyway. And Ludwig gives her sweet nothings to make her feel good, but he just wants to get back at Zemanik. And so Zemanik is sitting there thinking, so Ludwig is saying, yeah, I'm getting her, I'm getting back, I'm getting back at her. He doesn't like her. He just wants to use her to uh, to get back at Zemanik, who backstabbed him. Uh, the funny thing is, Helena loves Ludwig. She goes, oh, thank you, you saved my life, because Zemanik, you know, was a scumbag to me, and he already left me. And, and long story short, they come back to this, uh, so Ludwig is in some Morovian uh, folk uh, thing, and uh and uh, he sees uh, Zemnik with some young hot chick, and he's like, "What's going on?" And then Zemnik is like, uh... <laughs> "So Zemnik's like, look, I know you." And Zemnik had already told, uh, had already been told by Helena that Helena was going to divorce him for Ludwig. And Zemnik's like, "Sweet," because he already had some young hottie. And he's like, "Anyway, so long story short, Ludwig is sitting there. He sees uh, Zemnik coming up with some young hot chick, and he's like, ah, I got, I got him, I got him. And Zemnik's like, look, I know you talks to him. He says, I know you wanted uh, Helena, so she's all yours. We've divorced, and you can have her. You know, and uh, good luck to you, man. And and Ludwig's like, wait a second, I've been hosed. Zemnik gets to walk away from Helena with this young hottie, and I thought I was, you know, hurting him. And it turns out that he's actually, you know, off Helena on me. And then Helena. It goes to Ludwig says, "Hey, we're finally together. You know, I just divorced Zemnik, and 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 Ludwig's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't want you. I don't, I don't want you. I just wanted to get back at, at Zemnik. And then uh, Helena tries to kill herself, and it turns out to be just, the whole thing is just kind of it's funny, but it's just it wasn't that good. And long story short, it's so it's interesting. And at the end of the day, what happens is Ludwig, Ludwig, in his uh, his I." only way I can say he's trying to get with the ladies uh, from, you know, from the first lady where he got thrown in the gulag as a minor to, to Lucy, to some other chick, to Helena, Helena, to try to get back at Zemnik and it never works out for him. And, uh, and Zemnik just, you know, who was able to survive and thrive as a member of the communist party and Ludwig was not. So it just kind of shows how their lives uh, separated and differed. I just didn't think it was that good. It was hard to follow. Um, you know, I look, I, I don't know. I, I think there's other books. If you're looking for anti commie books, there's many, many, many. I, that was okay. But I'm looking forward to reading some other his other stuff here. In fact, let's take a look what else he's All right, so here's Milan Kundera, uh, uh, born uh, April 1929, a Czech writer who went to exile in France in 1975, became a naturalized French citizen in 1981. Uh, his Czechoslovakia citizenship was revoked in 1979. 
but he's given his Czech citizenship back in 2019. Um, he does see himself as a French writer and insists his work should be studied in French literature and classified as such in bookstores. Um, his best known work is The Unbearable Likeness of Being. That's the one I want to read. Prior to the uh, 1989, uh, the Velvet Revolution of 1989, the socialist regime in Czechoslovakia banned his books. He was virtually incognito and rarely speaks to the media. A perpetual contender for the Nobel Prize in Literature, he's been uh, nominated on several occasions. All right. Um, the joke right here, he gave a sat satirical account of the nature of totalitarianism in the commie era. He was quick to, uh, quick to criticize the Soviet invasion in 1968 which led to his blacklisting in Czechoslovakia. Um, he's got another novel, Life is Elsewhere, set in Czechoslovakia before, during, and after the Second World War. It's a satirical portrait of the fictional poet Jeremil, and a very young and very naive idealist becomes involved in uh, political scandals. All right, so here's his most famous work. Uh, it was published in 1984, The Unbearable Lightness of Being. It chronicles the fragile nature of an individual's fate, uh, theorizing that in a single lifetime is insignificant in the, co in the scope of Nietzsche's uh, concept of eternal return in an infinite universe everything is guaranteed to recur infin infinitely um anyway so uh, there's a film on that it'd be kind of interesting to watch so anyway i'm looking forward to reading some other stuff but uh i can't can't give uh, look if you want to buy or read it by all me i got it from the library i just mm, didn't do much for me yeah hope this helps you know something to look at nonetheless you might like it i just it, it didn't have the same structure of a book i'm trying to read where i just can't put it down it didn't do that for me all right we'll see you